before they was frozen. Relive the peak of Disney animation, followed <laughs> immediately by its downfall. <laughs> the Lion King. Revisit the original tale of a royal oh, heir man. whose parents die, prompting them to run away from their kingdom. Oh, then I sing like a this. song about letting go of their worries while things fall apart back home <laughs> and return to defeat an evil prince. I knew there was a reason I liked that movie. Uh, mm, Journey to no. Pride Rock, an animal kingdom with some incredibly generous borders. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. <laughs> Pretty generous. And its own version of New Jersey. <laughs> what about that shadowy place? Must never go there, so. <laughs> All of its African animals talk like they're British. <laughs> Good morning, sire. Evil British. It's to die for. Latino. Que pasa? Jewish moms. So, where you from? <laughs> Gangster. There ain't no way I'm going in there. Or CNN. <laughs> Witness the birth of Lion King Simba, an obnoxious know-it-all who rubs his privilege in everyone's face. My dad just showed me the whole kingdom. And I'm gonna rule it all. <laughs> Watch as Simba's life of leisure is shattered by his evil uncle, a lion who was either named Scar by coincidence, or he got stuck with a really mean nickname. <laughs> Get ready for a G-rated movie filled with domestic abuse. I'm ten, ten times the king of was. A child raised by a same-sex couple. Not the same <laughs> couple. And the most traumatic death of a parent since Bambi's mom got shot in the face. Dad. God. <laughs> we gotta go home. <laughs> Hakuna Matata? <laughs> so let Frozen go and experience the best music of any Disney musical ever with unforgettable songs like the Be Careful What You Wish For song. Oh, I just can't wait till that dies. <laughs> the Plotting Evil <laughs> Stuff song. So prepare because I am the bad guy. Be prepared for me to do bad guy things. The catchy song to distract kids from the horrific death they just saw. <laughs> I went through trauma at a very young age. Don't be a downer, kid. <laughs> they just killed my dad. <laughs> Forget all that. An African catchphrase. <laughs> the slow jam. Uh -huh. We are gone. Back to that. But now it's time to park. And the song that fools us into thinking these animals uh. live in harmony. Now. Yep. We'll try in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Lion Jafar, Bird Sebastian, Ren and Stimpy, Ed, Ed and Eddie, okay. Doomy Eyes, Dad Vader, and Kimba the White Lion. Seriously, look it up. The Lion King. Wait, yeah. if Mufasa and Scar are the only male lions in the pride, then Nala's dad is probably... Oh no. That's right. <laughs> All right, the Iron trailer was actually pretty good. I'm surprised that the music pieces didn't take me out of the video for a little bit because they were short. Well, like one was kind of long, you know, the, the beginning song was maybe the longest one, but they were overall pretty short, straight to the point, didn't overstay their welcome, which is what the songs for Iron trailers can normally do when they're mimicking a song from a movie like Frozen or Cats, whatever the case. I'm sure they probably do it in Frozen 2. I'm, I haven't watched that one yet. That's coming up soon, so I'll be on the lookout. But they were good here. And from what I understand, you guys have been telling me this was the first Honest trailer where there was singing, you know, like the singing parts that they kind of make up from the original movie. So pretty good here. I also like the piece on how they kind of talk about, you know, the Nala is probably Mufasa or Scar's daughter. So... Uh, she and Simba are either brother and sister or they're cousins. And so there's that whole thing. Which, you know, yes, you're going to normally have 
one or two li- main lions, male lions that kind of make up everything. Uh, so <laughs> there is that. I, I don't know. I'm sure that Ryan George is going to talk about it in the pitch meeting. I'm pretty sure. So we'll look for that. Uh, let's actually just check it out right now. So, you have an animated movie idea for me. Yes, sir, I do. Hamlet meets Bambi in Africa with cats. Oh, random word association is tight. Potato light bulb with a guinea pig judge. Those are some very random words, sir, but mine were actually deliberately chosen. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the movie's gonna be called The Lion King. Wow, well, okay, what happens in the movie? Well, the first image is gonna be this amazing African sunrise accompanied by some beautiful African music. Oh, that sounds so peaceful. How does the music go? Oh, it's gonna go a little something like yeah <laughs> yeah exactly you know it no i don't and that sounded really <laughs> aggressive i couldn't even understand what you were saying i was saying yansen ganyama bagiti baba oh okay it did sound a lot cooler when you just yelled it yeah i thought so so what happens after the sunrise well all these african animals are going to gather around to honor this new baby lion simba who's going to be king someday mm-hmm. seems a little weird that they'd all gather to honor a predator that's probably going to kill them no see, it all has to do with the circle of life so they're cool with it what's the circle of life oh it's this really cool thing that Simba's dad Mufasa is gonna explain to him. Okay. See, the lions might violently murder and eat all the animals, but when the lions die, they turn to grass and the animals eat them. One of those groups is clearly getting a better deal out of that. <laughs> it's all perfectly fair. So the lions are in charge because they can kill anyone they want? Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's called a reign of terror. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So what other characters are in the movie? <laughs> well, there's Simba's uncle Scar who thinks he should be king when Mufasa dies. Why do they call him Scar? Because he's got a scar on his face. Oh, that's a little on the nose. No, it's a big one on his eye. Never mind. <laughs> We're also gonna have Simba grow up with this lioness named Nala, and eventually they're gonna fall in love. But don't prides of lions only have like one or two males? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, that means that Nala's father is either Mufasa or Scar. Right, yeah. So Simba and Nala are either half siblings or cousins. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you're being weirdly okay with cat incest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me to never hang out with you, okay? I'll do that. So what else happens in the movie? Well, Simba's gonna have this whole big song and dance mm-hmm. number about how he can't wait to be king. Wow, that's super mean. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, you could secretly wish for your father to die, but singing a whole song about it is kind of messed up. I guess it is a little messed up now that you mention it. Simba's a jerk. <laughs> anyway, so later Scar and his hyenas are gonna trap Mufasa and Simba in a wildebeest stampede. Oh, so Mufasa tells them to calm down or something? What? No, they can't speak English, you silly producer. Oh, they can't? Yeah, only the animals I decide speak English speak English. Yeah. Right, that makes sense. So then Scar is gonna kill Mufasa and go to Simba like, this is all your fault. You better run away and never come back. Very harsh. Yeah, so Simba's gonna start to leave and Scar's gonna tell his hyenas to go kill him. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Well, Scar (laughs) wants to make sure that he gets the throne. (laughs) Right, but what was the point of that whole run away and never return thing if he was just gonna kill him? Why not just kill him right away? I don't know. Fair (laughs) enough. So then Simba's gonna manage to escape and he's gonna get raised by a meerkat named Simone and a warthog named Pumbaa. Oh, and what does he do with them? He walks across a log till he's all grown up. (laughs) Wow. And yeah, since Simba is grown up now, you're gonna have to find another voice actor for these parts. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get Matthew Broderick. He's great. Well, you kinda need an actor that also has an amazing singing voice, you know? No, I don't. Oh, really? (laughs) Yeah, I'll just get somebody else to perform the singing parts. Like who? Well, I could for sure get Joseph Williams, the lead singer from Toto. Yeah, that dude is obsessed with Africa. That's a good point, so this is a perfect (laughs) fit for him. So what happens next? Well, one day Nala is gonna show up and be like, holy crap, Simba, we all thought you were dead. Well, it must be great to see his sister again. Yeah, and she's gonna be like, bro, you need to come back because Scar took over with a bunch of hyenas and now there's no food or water or rain. Wow, I can't believe Scar messed up the weather like that. (laughs) Yeah, and then Simba and Nala are gonna roll around and she's gonna give him this look like, oh boy, you and I are gonna get it on, brother. Feels like it's gonna be difficult to convey that expression on a cartoon animal, though. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, just get me in a room with your weirdest animator and I'll tell him exactly how it should look. Oh, I can't wait for you to be out of my office, you weirdo. <laughs> anyway, so then Simba's gonna talk to a cloud and go home to confront Scar. How does that go? Well, Scar tells everybody that Simba killed Mufasa and he's a murderer. Oh, so Simba explains what really happened. No, he's gonna be like, I'm not a murderer, and that's about it. Well, yeah, and so then they're gonna that's fight, and Scar's solitude. gonna end up getting eaten by his hundreds of hyena buddies. Incredible. And so yeah, then Simba becomes king again, and it immediately starts to rain, and all the plants and stuff grow back. I never realized that a lion monarchy could have such an impact on the weather and environment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little known fact. Very cool. And what happens with the hyenas? <laughs> well, we never see them again, so I guess the lions ate them. Oh my god. Yeah, real savage. So what do you think? <laughs> well, it sounds great. I can't wait to cash in on it a few times. What do you mean a few <laughs> times? <laughs>
All right, so that was good. Now, he hit on a lot of the stuff that I thought he would. So, obviously, still uh, the song in the beginning, in his own way, <laughs> for the pitch meeting. Uh, Simba and Nala possibly being related in some way. Uh, but I like how he hits that in a, much, a bunch of different spots. I kind of missed that, that one part where he, he pretty much said, I'm sure he's glad to see his sister. I, I hit me so late. I'm sure you guys noticed. But <laughs> that was hilarious. Also, just how weird Ryder Guy is here. He has a lot of moments where he's weird. But he's really weird here, talking about how you know, get me in a room with one of your weirdest animators and I'll let him know how, it's, how her eyes should look. He, he kills it on this one. Really funny stuff. But we gotta choose a winner. Honest trailer or pitch meeting. Which one do you choose between these two? I, I like them both, so I'm not gonna pick a winner myself. I enjoy both of them. They're really funny. And actually, I'm surprised because normally when Honest Trailers does music pieces, that takes me out and I don't I never choose it, uh, but in this case, they were really good. Hey, you know, this is a favorite animated movie for me from Disney. This is one of their best. Uh, you know, story is, is good. It's very comparable to like uh, Black Panther uh, as far as Marvel, which is also Disney. So there's that piece, but I feel like they do a good job uh, with the animated piece, the live action, not so much, but we'll talk about that when I watch the Pitch Meeting Honest trailers for the live action, live action, CGI overall, but uh, they kind of consider it live action for some reason. Good stuff here. Let me know what you guys think of the honest trailer and the pitch meeting here. Also, let's talk about the Lion King, the movie overall. Let's talk about it in the comments below. I'm interested in what you guys think. To my hyper crew, Brian Tidwell, Steve O, Slepnir, K6013, Dash Milner, Daniel Lopez, and Jonathan Cedarland. Thank you guys so much for choosing that top tier crew. I really appreciate it. You get a verbal shout out by me in every video. To all my members and my subscribers, thanks so much for supporting the channel, whether it's monetarily or hitting that subscribe button i really appreciate it it goes a long way so thank you very much if you're interested in memberships hit that join button down below you can see more information there while you're still here hit that like button smash it lets me know exactly what you guys want to see more of it also helps more people see the video so i'd really appreciate that you can also check out our most popular videos right over here and you can see our most recent reaction right up there if you've seen all that i will see you guys in the comments we'll talk about this